What are electrolytes? Why do we need them? Okay, first thing is this. Electrolytes are just basically salts. Some examples of common electrolytes that we ingest or you know, drink or eat, for example, can include sodium chloride, which is just normal table salt. It could potentially be potassium chloride. It could potentially be potassium phosphate. Now, the important thing is all of these are electrolytes. And what makes them electrolytes is that when you ingest them and they are exposed to the aqueous or fluid environment of the body. Remember, I'm a 70 kilogram male, 45 kilograms or 45 liters of me is water. So inevitably, whatever you ingest is gonna be exposed to water. These electrolytes, when exposed to water, split apart and form charged atoms or elements that we call ions. So for example, sodium turns into Na+, chloride, Cl negative, potassium, K plus, chloride, Cl negative, potassium phosphate. In actual fact, if this is tripotassium phosphate, which is important, it's gonna form three potassium and phosphate, all right? Now, all of these are charged atoms or elements. Now, the question is, why do we need them? Okay, when we look at our body, our body is made up of cells and our cells will have water inside and water outside. And the thing is, these different ions are distributed differently either inside or outside the cell. For example, when we look at sodium, most of the sodium is sitting outside the cell. It's called an extracellular cation. Most of the chloride is also sitting outside the cell. That's called an extracellular anion. Most of the Potassium is sitting inside the cell, that's an intracellular cation, and most of the phosphate is sitting inside the cell as well, that's called an intracellular anion. All right, again, what's the importance of all this? Water inside and outside the cell moves in accordance with concentration and charge differences. Let's have a look. If you add up all the negative charges and positive charges outside, and add up all the negative charges and positive charges inside, they balance each other out. There shouldn't be an overall charge difference. That means if water's gonna move, whatever water moves out will move back in. No net change. Now what about the concentration differences? Okay, the concentration differences should also be the same as well. Again, whatever water moves out, water will move back in again, very important. Now, if you were to change the concentration of any one of these, it shifts the fluid balance. If it's too concentrated outside, water moves out, the cell shrinks and can eventually die. If it's too concentrated inside, water moves in. But in addition to that, these ions are important in other physiological processes. Sodium and potassium are important for neurons to send their signals called action potentials. Phosphate is important for bone, teeth and energy production as well. And chloride is also important for neurons to send neurotransmitters. So this is the importance of electrolytes.